Jeff, one of the things with the increasing demands of the sport of tennis that families are struggling with is how to keep balance in their child's life. Can you give us some advice on how to do that? Mm -hmm. There are a lot of things that, uh, that come forth with junior tennis and there are a lot of factors involved. And one of the things at MW Tennis that we really like to consider is making sure that every committed tennis player has a long-term and a short-term plan uh, so that we can set forth a multiple year goal setting plan so that if you're looking long-term, you're looking three, four, five years out with the ultimate goal of becoming a collegiate student athlete. And then when you have those stated goals, it's very easy to put together short-term objectives and short-term goals that you can easily achieve through hard work and effort on a daily basis. Um, another aspect that is incredibly important is the symbiotic relationship between a young student athlete's tennis and academics. And a lot of times I see a shift in perspective occurring in that some people lose sight of the academics and press too much with the tennis, and some people go the other way and don't train enough or play enough tournaments and lose sight of, the, yeah. uh, of, of their tennis aspect. And you wanna be in a position to have a balance in both of those so that you can be looking at a college of choice when you get to that stage. The last component is just making sure that everyone's going the same direction. And what I mean by that is the players, their parents and the coaches all have to be working from the same place. And that place should be known and discussed on a regular basis so that everybody can go forward and work together as a unit and as a team. And when that happens and there's a really good communication line between those three parties, the player, the parent, and the coach, then that's the fast track to sustained and positive success. That's great, great advice.